he, he can't get a job because no address. You can't get a shave and stuff like that. And you can't get in the hostel. And you're, you're like, you're, I don't know, man. Since 2010, the number of people sleeping rough in the UK has more than doubled, meaning there are now an estimated 3,600 people sleeping on the streets. This doesn't even include those in temporary council accommodation, sleeping on sofas, or moving from hostel to hostel. In Bristol, where I live, homelessness has increased by almost 90% in just the last three years. I went out onto the streets to chat to a few rough sleepers and hopefully get things from their perspective. It's always, it's always been bad, but I think like the last couple of few years now, it's like you said, it's gone even worse. Yeah. And it's like you said, it's like after people from the UB Centre and, and the BDP and the guy used to help you, then people don't seem to be around anymore. When, when you started sleeping rough, what was like the first thing, the biggest shock that happened to you? Like, it was the biggest shock to the system? Well, the biggest shock was obviously waking up in the middle of the night and thinking, whatever am I doing? What's yeah. going on? Uh, the one biggest shock is, uh, like, I don't know, the abuse you get, like, because I don't know, sitting here with a couple of young guys, they were past and they, they, they beat me in the face. The face? Yeah. Why do people do that? Because they're just showing off. Yeah. The worst, one, one worst thing. What would that be? The insecurity of um, wondering whether you'll be left alone. Yeah. Um, key incidents, um, less, than, le less, than, less than a week ago, um, sleeping again. I don't think the kids would have did it if they weren't drunk. Yeah, I think it's just alcohol and um, being egged on by each other. Yeah, uh, my hand got stamped on. I mean, my finger's still um, pretty split, like, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, every night is the reality of, am I gonna be messed with tonight? Yeah, when you get people, is that, is that you could be sat there and all you get, obviously, you get like a group of guys and one minute they pass, yeah. they'll be right then. One of the guys then, decides to like take a piss out you and all the other boys grab jump in and just makes you feel really bad you know yeah, I mean yeah. and obviously they know the situation you're in and that and it just makes you feel really like really bad inside so yeah. you know it's like it's like it makes, makes you like doubt yourself more do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so now it's better to sleep in the daytime than it is at night and, and it ain't just because it's Bristol or London or Brixton or Cardiff yeah I, I personally find, and I've talked to a few people as well, that sleeping in the day is better than sleeping at night because you're safer, because there's more people about. You get, you get someone's all right, like I said, and obviously you get one idiot then, who try like impress his mates and obviously might spit at you, might rip your blanket off, or, or I mean, or just, or come like shouting in your face now, you tramp, you dirty junkie, and. But you don't get, just get it right, it's not, not all homeless people are users, you know what I mean? No, 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 no. But we all get tired with the same brush, that's the problem, like see? Like well, in my case, it's, uh, it's uh, the private landlords, and they, they didn't accept the DHSS people. And so, uh, man, I was, so man, I was evicted. Yeah. And I went to the it's hostels private. and they're all... Yeah. They're stuffed. And there's, there's nowhere to go. There's perhaps an engineer, and then boom, and then I'm here. At this point, a small group of lads passed us by. One of them shouted something out, but I didn't make out what it was. What did he say? I didn't hear him. He's called me a cunt, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. But like, why, 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 choose, why choose that, you know? Why, why? Because as I say, it's these pals and stuff like that, instead of a few beers, and then he says, oh, you can't. And what, if there's like one thing that you think people could do to, to, to change it, what do you think that would be? Is it just like uh, change if there's one thing, or? yeah, change your attitude, and obviously be willing to like show a little bit of support or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And perhaps I might then obviously give the homeless boys a, a initiative to obviously, oh, there, there is help, there is support out there. Oh, perhaps, I mean, I go this way and I don't have to be on the streets anymore, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, I think people need to be patient and obviously I'm more supportive, so... Definitely, definitely. I think that would help a lot, to be honest. Honestly, and I'm not just saying that because of what you did. No, no. But, but meeting people. 
Yeah, the people that I met on the street. Because yeah. I've got some real good friends now, man. Yeah. And and even though um, I think Bristol's a dirty city, I'm going to stay here because of the people that live here. <laughs> <laughs>